Emir against Emir. gonna keep this you get him one day sure you can start with the nausea can even buff it get him with artifact deck I don't think so I don't want him dead that much no one deserves to lose an artifact deck. That's that's completely unacceptable. Come on, he played well. Honestly, he had a good deck and he played better, so he should win. Easy. Oh boy. So I can lock that. Do we lock that? I think we need to lock that. Else it's just gonna get too much value. Rehorn von... Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Let's see what he has. Maybe we can delete his shoop. Bow, barbarian. Bow low. Hmm. Which one should we delete? One, two, three. You guys choose. So this is a six. This is a straight up eight. That can become a ten. This can get some value. Especially against the unicorn. So at this is a seven-ish. Against the unicorn. It's gotta be the Seret, right? Yeah. You guys want to delete Seret. Uh, let's do that. It's, it's a bit of a bummer that we couldn't delete his shoop. That's always the most fun option. Right. Look at that, Kyronex. Playing the same deck against each other. What is it now? And we do know that he doesn't have a Peter right now, so this Nausicaa Sergeant is is safe. Play that. I'm in a decent lead right now. I don't want to play most of these cards. Maybe the Dao. We'll see. Really? We can play the Dao. Do we play the Dao? I think is he also deleted the Chironax, so we can play the Unicorn. Let's see. It's, it's, it's kind of like a 7, because we also boost, so we are in the lead by 11. Okay, that was good enough to take it, apparently. Waiting for your opponent to play Witchers is sometimes a good idea, gives you... A better chance of finding a nice target. Mm, what do we want? Yeah, these are not that good. Pass. Huh. 
Maybe we can get uh, Sarit for Peter. That would be nice. I don't like playing that too much in round two. It doesn't help you much. It just puts the card at the top of your deck. I was playing Emir Shoop and running to two other Shoops twice in a row. Both discarded my Shoop. <laughs> yeah. If we had a system where players can ban cards, I'm pretty sure. Like, like you can just ban from the top 10, nah, nah, top 100 most popular cards, and people can vote on what cards to ban. I'm pretty sure that this guy, wherever he is, Trahern, would make the, the quad, and people would just ban him. Because he just straight up deletes win conditions. Uh... Playing Gimpy on that is okay. We can also lock it. Well, we gotta play Gimpy on it because we are playing against the uh, Shoop. No one wanted these lands, so I and we might get some other value from the lock, where damage wouldn't be enough. But this is kind of tricky because we have. Two range units that has to be played ranged. Oh, look at that! Uh, I don't know. That would be nice if the Magni somehow. I don't know. Drew some fire. I think he's going with the damage everything. Maybe he's not lucky. Split 9 damage is always the ideal one. Yeah, we got it. Interesting. Uh, let's get rid of this guy. We might be able to get some value from the Rot Duster. So he does have a Peter. Keep in mind that. I'll relieve you of that pouch. I shall he does have a Shoop that deals 9 damage across the board. My ship is still unrolled. You might be able to get some value with this after the ship hits. If I play Unicorn on Roach, he's probably gonna peter it. But if I play Shoop, I would need to take back Shoop, so that's not good. Slave Infantry also, I think, can get more value later. So the thing is, do we play Unicorn right now? I don't know. I really don't know. Let's do it. Next round, he's gonna get uh, probably enough points on the board, so I can justify playing Shoop. But I'm not gonna do that. This world dies with it. Yeah, that's not great. Because when we play shoot, we're just gonna damage everything. That is gonna make the rot to so worse. But this is the only one that makes sense. Yeah, that's not good enough. Because this is so bad. 
Because this has the average value. Put that back, crap. J just, just, just to rub it in. If I get unlucky with my shoop options, then my options are gonna be even worse. We can apply a random rule effect. That's that's might be the best. Random enemy. I can't believe it, but we are doing it. I can play the rot to sue in the back because the cow would die. So we gotta play it in the front. And we just have to chance it on one of these. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I strive above all to be just. Roto said you disappoint. Oh look at that. I got outskilled. GG. Kovara novice. So we have we have no witchers, which is not great. What do you guys think about the coin flip? I kind of almost want to be on the side of the tactical advantage, especially if you're running certain strategies. Uh, the thing is, tactical advantages is uh, is more significant than it might seem at first, because Currently, you have like, let's just say for sake of simplicity, that the average value of a card in your deck is 6.5. Because you have uh, 165 provisions. Say it and, with me. and you can get 5 points with the tactical advantage. And the gap... The, the power gap between the cards is massive because the provision cost of the cards range from... That was a mistake. Uh, range from 4 to 15. Or I think 15 is the highest currently. But yeah, that matters a lot. Is there anyone here to whom I can entrust my missive? Two panthers licking their lips. Yeah, we're getting rid of the ambush trap. It's not banished, just in the graveyard. But the Frenzy Dao... I never miss. Actually gonna hit some traps, I believe, in this game. Trap. So Frenzy Dao was uh, pretty good. And this is a bit of a weakness in traps that... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they should be different. Because they do have that same so-called immunity. Well, kind of immunity. That... Uh, it's like almost immunity. Because... Even immune units can uh, be affected in some ways, and uh, maybe even more ways than uh, artifacts, because artifacts only get countered by specific counters to them, nothing else. And immunes can just take some uh, random damage. 
or just random destroy effect or something like that. That that takes them out. Weather also just uh, only goes away uh, when um, when you have a specific effect to counter it. It's only a four. Nigh is the time of the white frost and white light. There's only human, not a soldier. Shouldn't he be like an officer at least? Wonder if that works. Peace so with nice humans. energy here. Oh no! <laughs> so now we can play the human. Each locked enemy, each adjacent soldier, but only reach of one. So that's not much use. You might be freed. So what's the chance that this guy used a Shiro? I guess this was answered pretty quickly. So he's in the lead by 11. And I can't do it. Well, that's a pass. Maybe he has a resurrect for Shiro. I could see this guy doing that. Because he didn't hesitate to use Shiro. But what other being condition he might have? If he's uh, so eager to use up Shiro, we do have the Witchers. I might just play the Witchers. I don't value them that much. Time for it. Enough. Currently I have to play on the melee and range row. We could have played Magni, but the Witchers are so awkward to keep. We could get punished with that. Sure. Not that. Yeah, not the spotter. We have some good cards here. And yeah, that helps. The problem is if we play a Seer, there's a decent chance that, like, 50-50, like, okay, 100% that he, that Roach ends up next to the Magni. But we gotta play the Magni. And we can only play Gimpy later. Maybe he kills it. We'll see. We can actually kill it with the hero power. He's only not gonna do that if he has some other plans for the hero power. That's fine. What do you guys think? Does he have Resurrect? Or what other uh, plans he has to win? That's annoying. But we know for a fact that it's not a 
pitfall trap. That's the biggest threat. But it's not that. So what is it? By by just guessing the pure likelihood of uh, traps he can have, I would just say it's probably a crushing trap or a horn. So I would guess that is the horn and that's a crushing trap. And this is so freaking annoying because now... Yeah, it's not fiery. So that's a horn and that's the spike trap. We need some alternative shoot play here. I actually need to look into it. Shoop. Alright. Shoop, what else we have? Shoop, shoop hunter, right. When I look for uh, information about Gwent, uh, many times I actually... Happen to find information about the old Gwent? Like that happens a lot. No one wanted these lands, so I up and took them. What is the best option for us? Damage an enemy by four, lock a unit, gain resilience, destroy an enemy artifact. That could be actually good with Shoop Knight. But can we realistically do that? Oh, he moved. Oh, yeah, he moved me into the row. So, is it gonna trigger at the end of his round now? Yeah. But that was only an eight. So, if we destroy an enemy artifact with uh, Shoop Knight, uh, that's good. We can all also get boost and ally, and those are the only ones that are good. We can also get some decent buff with Peter here. This is the best option, actually. So we're gonna do that. Troop Hunter is kinda out of the question. Yeah, just replace the trap. Wait, what? Is that an anti-special card card? I hope not. I guess we're gonna find out. That was surprising that he didn't play the panther. Uh, next to the uh, presumed Mahakam Horn. So I can replay a Seer, gain 4 points, plus gain another Roach. Wait, what? What do you mean end turn? Did I already make a move? Why can't I make a move? Yeah, uh, we lost Shoop. Uh, never mind that. Okay. An ill wind. So. We can gain 7 points if I buff a Seer. Come on, guys, chill. This is a really annoying fight. I just call it a fight. Why not? I don't know. If we had the frenzy Dao, that would have helped to get rid of the serpent trap. 
We gotta hurry up. This world dies with it. The common folk. I care for them. Not the best I got. He's gonna move. A seer to the front. He's gonna hit me for 10. Question is... What else he has? An immune dragon. That's buff to tw 12. Okay. You got me, dwarf. Who would have known? Canceling Shoop is actually a pretty good idea against the Shoop deck. GG. Well, that was pretty good. But so dirty. <laughs> it basically made a strategy just to completely own me. Well done.